4K beamers are finally getting affordable. Not too long ago, a device like this would cost you at least a couple grand, completely crazy, but these times are over. This right here is the Nomadic P1000, a super bright, gorgeous 4K beamer, true 4K output with great colors. You can blow up the image all the way to 180 inches. That's around 4.5 meters. It is incredible. Bleeding edge tech in there, automatic AI picture setup, HDR enhanced contrast, super sharp optics and great sound. So yeah, let's take a look. Got the new drip from Nomadic. This is the P1000. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. Here we have the box, absolutely beautiful. We have the brand on this side, as well as on the other side. Top is just blank. And on the back, we have all the small print specs, model name. So check it out right here. And lastly, we have this on the bottom. So let's open up this box just like that and you can pull it out nice padding as you can see and then we can just pull out the beamer just like that and on the bottom of this box we also have the box with the accessories so let's remove the wrap and let's reveal this beautiful beamer before we get to it let's of course get to the accessories and the manual so let's see, this will open up like that. Oh, beautiful, beautifully organized. So we have the power brick, that's it right here with the port, just like that. Then we have all the paperwork. We have the remote, which is looking really nice. Check this out, this awesome ring right here. And two AAA batteries will be needed. And then right here, oh, the batteries are even included. Nice touch, batteries are included. We will also get this cable right here. It's a USB-C to USB-C cable. And also the power cable, of course, for the wall socket. And lastly, here we have the paperwork. We will get this, this backside. And then right here, the quick start guide. Looking beautiful. Two, three, four, five, and there we have it. So. Here we have all the accessories. Done with the unboxing and let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. And here we have the beamer. Still protected, let's remove all of that. All of that. And now check this out from the side. It has this interesting shape to it. Check this out, lens is looking amazing. We have this side with all the ports, more protective wraps on the back also up here a nice combination of white pla white shiny plastic and transparent plexiglass really nice so yeah let's take a close look Ooh, another one so starting right here on the bottom as you can see it's flawless we have four nice rubber feet and also a thread in the middle if you want to mount it on a tripod or something like that beautiful transparent plexiglass then we have this side right here with all the ports hdmi usb-c and down here the power port also of course the cooling fans as well as on the other side nice big fan right here here we have the back with the brand and also sound by Harman Kardon and top is looking beautiful with these fins and here we have these touch sensitive buttons and the on off button and this right here it is a secret handle which is genius it is literally invisible until you pull it out it's gone and that's the front right here with the brand with all the sensors and of course a big nice lens beautiful not bad right so let's finally test it so here we go ready for the test this will be the first 4k beamer that i will ever test i can't wait so let's hook it up it's going in from the side and now let's go fully dark and let's turn it on and let's see okay it will flash green powering up Oh yeah, batteries are inside of the remote. Oh, it's actually lighting up, beautiful. Wow, oh my goodness. The beamer is now around half a meter away from the wall and the image is already at least a meter in diameter. So that is amazing. Let's start by moving it back a bit. Whoa. Oh, that is crazy. It's getting very large, very fast. Wow. Okay, there's a huge image. We are 
not even two meters away from the wall. That is crazy large. And what's also super convenient is that the beamer is currently standing on the floor. So you won't need a, a tall table. Extremely convenient. So let's walk through the setup. Step one, three seconds. Bluetooth pairing, English, that's good. And Wi-Fi. Okay, let's go through the firmware update right away always a great idea of course so yeah let's wait for the update to finish so and there we go let's go through it from scratch to see the nice startup animation it's really quite something check this out so nice and the sound it feels like it's coming actually from the screen not from the beamer so I went through the setup, I paired the remote, English as the OS language, and this is where we will end up when we turn it on. So when we go all the way to the left, we can select the input, HDMI, USB-C, local storage and USB. Then we can check out the file management, nice file manager right here. Then we have the app center, let's see, Bluetooth pairing. It will pair itself, just like that. Then let's check out the settings, network, date and time. Here we have the basic settings and advanced settings, firmware upgrade and all about the Beamer. All right, let's go back. Here we also have screen mirroring and lastly, Bluetooth. With this, you can use dedicated speakers and we also have Bluetooth pairing and Bluetooth out. I'm just noticing that the right side is extremely sharp, but the left one, not that much. So I think it's kind of misaligned. All right, I think that's better. And on the remote we also have the settings control and this will open up this right here with the aspect ratio let's choose native focus autofocus that's fine motorized zoom that is so cool with this you can make it smaller so this is the smallest setting and uh, now let's blow it up all the way as before oh so that's actually better camera had a hard job of getting it right trying the manual focus okay we have the keystone correction auto keystone of course corner adjustment warping amazing options for fixing the image and we also have the digital zoom over scan eye protection then we have the image color mode is now set on tv this is the gaming mode we can also go for eye friendly low blue mode tv is fine brightness oh my goodness you can go oh no way okay so you can go way brighter color temperature advanced silence mode and reset the color so tons of options we also have power management and power on source then we also have the audio settings pattern we have the message splash screen blue and black then we have the hdmi settings and io settings we have the system settings we can even set up a key lock and the information right there 4k 60 hertz and here we can also check if the low latency input is active or not all right so let's test the inputs so let's go back to the home screen and all the way to the left and as we can see we now have the we have the dot beneath the hdmi and usb so let's start with the usb stick right there ah so this will give it a fold structure so i wasn't able to find the video right off the bat but it's right here in the videos okay makes sense oh the sound is so nice and look at that image it's lighting up the whole room Wow, and the response time is super fast too. That's better right here. This image is huge. It's as large as my wall. I can barely get it on my screen, on my camera. It sounds so nice. We'll get to the sound test in a bit. It's looking really nice. Although this is only a 1080p movie. So let's go back to the home and let's check out the USB. Uh, the HDMI because now we can use it with the PC to get a 4K stream going. So there we go. Whoa. <gasps> oh, this is huge. Wow. Okay, let's go. With these small letters, first of all, it's super important that you get it in perfect focus and only with small and sharp letters, it's actually possible to get it into focus perfectly. And now this is perfect. This is looking amazing. By the way, the fan is quite silent. So that's a great thing. Everything is really sharp. I was never able to see the letters this clearly. So far, I've only tested 1080p beamers. Makes sense. It's literally four times as sharp, four times the resolution. Oh, it's looking so good. Okay, let's go for a sound test. There we go. Wow, it's, it sounds like it's coming out of the wall, 
out of the image. How is that possible? Maybe the beamer is projecting it forward and then it's getting bounced off the wall and this way it sounds like it's coming from the image. It's genius. So let's see. Let's go near. So yes, it's coming from the front. My theory was correct. 10 out of 10 clarity and as you heard, nice space as well. So this is a premium beamer to say the least. 10 out of 10 image quality, 10 out of 10 sound with something like this. You won't even need an external Bluetooth speaker and yeah. Everything is so sharp, it's unbelievable. And this is just my wall on a dedicated beamer screen, beamer surface, you, you know what I mean, right? This would look even better. But yeah, that's just my wall right there. Look at that, look how large this image is. And you can perfectly read even these small letters right here. This, was, this would not be possible whatsoever with a 1080p beamer. That's my arm, so you can see how large it is. This is easily four, already four meters in diameter. And you can, barely see the pixels, just a little bit. But this is already almost the max screen size that they recommend. Again, when you step in front, you will trigger the eye protection. So now I move it a bit closer. As you can see, my hand is now a bit bigger compared to these videos right here. I think it's now like two and a half meters in diameter. And now it's, you cannot see the individual pixels. The resolution is that large and it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Love it. By far the best beamer that I have ever tested. Super silent fan. It's almost not noticeable, especially when you have the sound going, which is amazing. No problem whatsoever. So enjoying movies with this thing is definitely a total blast. So big thumbs up from my side. This thing is gorgeous. And last but not least, let's go for some powerful images, vivid colors, and let's see what this thing can actually do. Look how huge this image is. So as you saw, impressive results to say the least. So as you saw, the thing not only looks amazing, it also performs like a beast, especially for the price point. Amazing value right there. Amazing value for what you will get. 2,300 NC lumens. It is super bright, so you can also easily use it during day times. That is a rare feature for budget-friendly beamers. Other than that, it of course has all the newest AI tech, like automatic focus, automatic keystone correction. It has amazing picture and video quality, thanks to the white color range and thanks to HDR. And also, of course, thanks to the great 
great lens and optical systems in there. And not to forget, of course, thanks to the large 4K resolution. Moreover, the colors are not only vivid, but also highly accurate. Aside from that, it has super low latency, also a rare feature still, even though tech is moving along quite fast. This thing right here is as fast as a top-notch gaming monitor. Can you believe it? It is great. No lag, it is lightning fast. Great build quality all in all, and talking about the build, this is a short throw beamer. So as you saw, you don't need a lot of distance to the wall, which is always great if you want to achieve a large image. Tons of IO ports as well, and all in all, definitely drippy check out the product links in the description i will list and link the best deals for you but before you go smash that like button then subscribe ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing take magnet videos that's it for this one enjoy then i will see you soon